Hello everyone. Uh, welcome back to the lecture series. Uh, in the last lecture, we di we discussed about the feudalism and its transition to the capitalism. And in that in the same lecture, we also briefed about the primitive communism and its transition to ancient mode of, mode of production and its transition to the capitalism. So our main theme of lecture series being the ideologies and the significance. So I thought why just uh, we can't uh, why just we can take uh, take a break uh, from the ideologies and significance and just uh, focus a little more on the contemporary issues uh, which are very prone to the uh, myths and misinterpretations. So our main theme will be ideologies and their significance. Our next uh, lecture series will follow uh, the transition from the capitalism to the socialism and communism. But in the current lecture, I, don't, I just want to discuss an important topic which is very prone to the myths and misinterpretations in the society. So before getting into the topic, so I just want to take a note of Marx on the concept of real analysis. So according to the Marx, uh, if you want to conduct any real analysis for that say, or any real investigation or any real inquiry on a sub on any subject matter for that matter, so you have to uh, you have to be there without any phantoms. I mean, you have to uh, start investigating on that subject matter without any hypothesis or opinions on that subject matter before. So you, you have to start any any investigation or any analysis or any inquiry on subject matter with a with a fresh mind and without any phantoms for that same matter. So with that note in the mind, uh, let us start our lecture series uh, lecture on farmer suicides in India and alternative perception because it's mostly try to uh, debunk the myths and misinterpretations which has been well established in the minds of the learners from the time ago. So. The concept of policy uh, will play a major role in our discussion because suicide, see, if you consider suicide for that matter, if you consider suicide, suicide is mostly a social social issue. So it's more than an individual issue, so, uh, suicide being a social issue, because most of these suicides happen due to the social region or socio-economic reasons per se in the society. So the concept of policy or policy framework should, uh, uh, should uh, get an answer to the policy the questions raised by the suicide. So the policies, uh, most of the policies in the area of suicides being the static because the most of the uh, policy interventions has been on the uh, static data or static uh, phantoms, which are being well established before the uh, before a, a much uh, decent period, much decent time. So it's very important to move from uh, static to dynamic because. The, the questions posed by the uh, suicides being very dynamic in nature and suicides we see uh, we can't uh, stick to the data or so we can't stick to the phantoms which says that this sector is very prone to the suicides but suicides is a, a phenomena which doesn't consider any social or economic strata or which with, uh, which doesn't consider any social economic uh, status they belong to suicide is a very phenomena from the top of the society to the bottom or downtrodden people. So suicide is mostly a phenomena which exists in every social strata or every economic strata. So it's mostly a dynamic topic. So uh, being at, so importance of data and statistics is very much important in the concept of suicides because it's mostly a dynamic concept and uh, with the data analytics or data uh, with the long trends and uh, long trends analysis or long data analytics. Uh, we will just uh, will move closer to the bliss point of uh, bliss point of solution to the suicides. So phantoms established in the in the uh, policy framework is are able because we can't uh, just move on with the phantoms without uh, well considering the long-term analytics of the data. So phantoms established is uh, able as we uh, see just a copy of uh, Marx analysis of real in real. Uh, analysis because Max says uh, phantom are evil because we can't start any investigation or any uh, analysis on uh, on the subject matter uh, with with the phantoms in the mind. So phobia role play also plays an important role in the uh, policy making because before starting to uh, see if any policy maker try to question anything that is very fundamental in nature in the society, he's gonna uh, he's gonna hit back very hard because uh, our society is mostly a conservative. See. Uh, I just not uh, don't uh, not to mean that our society is mostly conservative, but conservative forces in our society may doesn't take uh, may doesn't take the uh, the very significance of data because phobia role play also uh, 
very uh, is uh, is considered to be a evil in the policy making so phobia role play phobia should be not there so phobia is nothing but fear fear of uh, saying truth should not be there should not be there in the case of in the policy making because uh, the person who are very in very needy respect of the social strata or economic strata they be, they belong to policy framework should and should address the a uh, person who is very needy irrespective of the social and economic strata they belong to so populist policies are also an important uh, aspect of the policy making so policy makers are mostly uh, representatives of the people which are uh, who are directly elected by the people so they need to uh, favor do a favor to the uh, populist uh, or the majoritarian section of the society by introducing a populist uh, policies to them so the policies introduced by the uh, government per se or government of any nation or state should not be a populist rather it should be there uh, to treat uh, someone who are very needy or who are very thirst for the uh, policy for that matter so policy populist policy should not be the case in the policy making with that in the with that concept in the mind let us move to the another slide so if you consider suicide for per se suicide it's is very multidisciplinary subject so suicide is very multidisciplinary subject and we can't point out a single factor that is responsible for this for a person to commit suicide so over emphasis over emphasis has been laid on the economic causes but it's mostly a psychological issue see many many uh, research or many research papers for that matter uh, considers psychological issue as the main issue so Uh, many studies have found out that uh, 70% more, around 70 or 75% with an error rate of 20 minus or 20 plus percent uh, the cause of suicides being a mental illness so it's being a sensitive issue reporting of uh, suicides are also should be also taken care of with uh, high, high, highest priority see most of the media houses in india are considered to not follow uh, any protocol while reporting suicides but uh, major media houses in international uh arena like uh, guard the guardian or bbc will follow a strict protocol while they are reporting suicides because reporting of suicides will also uh, is very important because that what uh, what takes uh, before the people so reporting should be very sensitive and uh, subject see suicides being in a, being a very uh, sensitive subject so reporting should be taken with utmost very priority or with utmost care so with that uh, points in the mind let us move to the discussion this is a major discussion see uh, what do you think who is the most uh, uh, who is the important victim of the suicide see most of the persons who who is seen the uh, the term suicide they think that uh, farmers are the worst victim uh, due to suicide but if you take the data of 2017 by the national crime report bureau uh, the most the victims the most uh, major victims of the suicides are daily wage earners they constitute about 22.1 percentage of the total suicides in the country and the next followed by the housewife with 16.5 whereas farmers the people persons engaged in the farmers constitute only 8.2 in comparison to da daily wage earners who constitute 22.1 percentage of the suicides in the country so if we consider so it's a short term analysis i mean it's the data of 2017 but if you consider the long term analytics it's also same See, if you consider long-term analytics, the housewives are on the top top line. These these constitute housewives, and these constitute the farmers. So housewives are worst hit by suicides if you consider the long-term analytics too. But the good the good point is the farmers suicides are declining, are declining. But on the other side, the housewives are stating uh, how the housewives suicides are tend to be. Uh, decreasing at very slow rate whereas the suicides of farmers are decreasing at the faster rate whereas if you consider the private sector employees they are decreasing they are at the increasing rate and if you consider the unemployed youth uh, suicides uh, they are also in the increasing side everything is on increasing side but farmer suicides are decreasing at the faster rate than any other occupation per se so long term and short term analytics prove us that farmers are not the one who are on the worst side of the uh, are on the worst side due to the suicides but it's the daily wage earners who are being on the worst side of due to the uh, suicides and the uh, housewives per se houses are housewives are also on the worst side of the uh, problem of suicide so so see if you consider the policy uh, policy formulation in the both of the case so daily wage earners policies are 
per se our see uh, daily wage and us policy attention is slightly very large than the policy attention in the case of housewife housewife see if you see just stay uh, stay back and just uh, think about the policy make uh, policy interventions in the case of housewife it must be near to zero see because there are very less policy interventions in the case of housewife suicides and uh, daily wage journals than these uh, policy interventions in the case of farmer suicides in the case of farmer suicides uh, the policy interventions will be at least in the economic sense also it's been very high see lawn waivers or uh, relief packages has been very good in case of farmer suicides in comparison but but farmer suicides are still a problem but there are also other occupations which are facing the similar problems from the suicides who face zero attention in the case of policy formulation so this should be not be the case so if you consider another case so see what you consider see what's the cause of suicide so most of the believe, most of the persons who came across this cause of suicide will tend to believe that indebtedness or the economic reasons are the uh, major or important cause of the suicides but if you consider prof uh, the data from family problems of 2017 the family problems constitute about 30.1 percentage of the uh, cause uh, or constitute 30.1 percentage of the suicides but the <coughs> bankruptcy or indebtedness constitutes only 4 percent that is only 4% of the suicides are due to the indebtedness or bankruptcy but 18.1 18.5% are due to the uh, are due to the mental illness and 30.1% of the suicide cases are due to 30 30.1% but most of the policy making will be in the area of uh, most of the policy making will be will focus on the area of economic sense where they tend to way of the loans of the farmers just so i consider this as a policy laziness uh, who uh, who uh, directly believe that if we remove the loan loan or the burden of if you remove the burden on of economics in the economic sense then we can just uh, sort of the problem of suicides that's being the policy laziness which has been followed uh, from the recent period of time so if we consider long term analytics of the same causes of suicides it's been uh, the family problems will stay in the upside of that and illness also stays in the same pace it's growing in the same pace as the uh, family problems but the bankruptcy or uh, indebtedness will stand at the lowest side that is it constitute only 4% whereas it constitutes around its plus or minus 20% see sorry 20% being the uh, average uh, cause of suicides are due to uh, family problems or mental illness for per se so cause of suicide so we big broken the two myths which are uh, farmers are on the, are not on the worst side of the suicides and next there are more occupations which are on the worst side of the suicide that is housewives and uh, daily wage earners and next phantom is that so causes of suicides are not due to indebtedness but causes of suicides are due to are mostly due to illness and uh, family problems so the policy measures in the Ill mental illness and uh, family problems are very less the policy intervention has been very less which has to be increased dras uh, drastically to get an to solve the problem of suicides so if you consider the mar case of maharashtra if you uh, start to uh, specially emphasize on the maharashtra maharashtra see, why why we should focus on maharashtra because maharashtra has been the state which is uh, very affected which is very prone to the suicide uh, he it almostly stands in the first position if you consider the national data of suicide so if you consider maharashtra so suicide mortality rate for the farmers uh, if you can see if you consider national wide data and if you categorize four states that is ap and telangana ap and maharashtra which are the worst f worst affected states due to suicide and if you consider on the other side bihar and up which are economically backward states than ap and maharashtra so what you believe see ap maharashtra bihar and uh, up farmers are better off see if, if you consider a suicide mortality rate that is mortality rate of the farmers or the deaths of farmers per lakh uh, per lakh farmers uh, then the smr is very high in high in the case of maharashtra and uh, uh, andhra pradesh than the up and bihar so it's quite interesting that uh, suicide mortality rate Uh, in ap and maharashtra is higher than up and bihar which are economically uh, 
uh, better off state than the UP and Bihar. But what's the cause? So by this data, so it states the same thing. It's not economic cause that is responsible for the suicide. So it's it's a multidisciplinary subject. It's not the only economics that is causing the suicides of the farmers. So with that in mind, let us move to the another side, which states percentage of suicide due to bankruptcy or sudden stage in the economic status. If you consider that too, AP and Maharashtra states stays in high, and a Bihar and Maharashtra states are low. But the fact is that these are in the decreasing trends. When we can compare, these are in the, the decreasing trend. So, the suicide of mortality rate due to bankruptcy or a sudden change in economic status has been decreasing or has been falling uh, for, or in the falling trend. So, in this case also, due to bankruptcy or sudden change in economic status, so AP, AP and Maharashtra stand, stands on the higher, higher place, higher, higher rank than the UP and Bihar, which are, so AP and Maharashtra are on the worst side due to suicides due to, due to, due, suicides due to bankruptcy or sudden change in economic status. If you consider percentage of suicides due to illness, so in the last slides, the percentage state change in, uh, due to change in, in economic status, the trend shows that it's slightly decreasing. So if you consider here, it's increasing, right? So it states that illness or mental illness is most or more important problem problem uh, than the economic status. So so here it's just eight percent constitute just eight percent, and for the AP it's I guess five percent. But in the case of mental illness, uh, thirty around twenty eight percent for Maharashtra, and twenty seven twenty five I guess twenty five percent for AP. So mental illness is a major problem due to due to which suicides are happening in the both. Maharashtra and AP, AP states, which are worst part, worst states in the suicide for the, which are very prone to the suicides. So from this very data, so we had very discussed from the data we had uh, discussed so far. So the distribution of suicide victims by the profession, uh, if you consider the so distribution of suicide victims by the profession, uh, daily wage earners are on the uh, worst side. Daily wage earners in combination with housewives. Uh, are on the worst side than the f uh, persons who are engaged in the farming sector. This is the first myth we are break uh, broke in the uh, earlier slides, which uh, it's also same in the long term trend. So, housewives and uh, housewives and daily wage earners uh, beat the uh, farmers' suicide. So, the worst the worst victims of the suicides being daily wage earners and uh, uh, daily wage earners and housewives than the farmers. So that's the first myth we broke in the earlier slides. And if we consider the cause of suicide, so it's mostly indebtedness or it's or it's mostly due to the, it's mostly due to the family problems that suicides are happening in the, during the 2017. But the role of indebtedness or bank, bankruptcy in the suicides are very less as compared with the other causes. So mental illness and uh, family problems play a very important role in the cause of suicide. And uh, if we consider a special case of Maharashtra, the same uh, the same analysis or the the same the same uh, analytics we used had been has been used in the same case, and the result is the same. The farmers are not on the worst side of uh, worst side of suicides. Uh, rather, the daily wage earners and the mental um, daily wage earners and the housewives are on the worst side. And the cause of suicides are illness, and uh, cause of suicides are illness, uh, <clears throat> not the sudden or not the, ha, or on the highest side. See, the suicides due to illness in the Maharashtra is higher than the suicides due to economic status. So these are the two myths. I just want to break up because most of the prob most of the students or most of the learners are are uh, got into that myths or misinterpretations without analyzing data. But if you see, I just want to say an important story or interesting story regarding the Maharashtra. See, if we consider Maharashtra, uh, about 70% of the uh, suicide cases in Maharashtra are concentrated in the six districts. And if you consider the uh, six districts, uh, if you consider the economic status of the persons who has been uh, who has been the victim of suicide, around 60% uh, of the 75% who has been committed suicide has uh, land more than four acres. So it's not only the economics, economic causes that 
allows the person to uh, to choose suicide as a solution for the problem so but rather it's not the only economic sense economic cause that causes a person to the uh, to choose a, uh, to choose <clears throat> suicide as a solution but rather many many uh, role many factors play a role uh, which determines a person to choose suicide as a solution so in the coming com in the conclusion the share of illness is higher than the indebtedness so if we can we consider the data and it's very known that the share of illness in the uh, uh, share of illness uh, which is causing uh, uh, suicide is very high than the indebtedness and former suicide is still a problem but policy intervention in the other in the other in the other factors is very uh, important because mental illness is one subject which is very least concerned by the policy makers in india so policy intervention in the case of mental illness all should be also considered as an important factor and uh, mental illness should be also, should also considered as an important factor for the suicide then uh, the former suicide uh, the suicides in india may decrease so see former suicides are, are still a problem but policy intervention in other professions are also required so farmers are not only are are not only the uh, occupation or not only the profession where suicides are happening but it's happening in every sector so form suicide is uh, is a problem in every sector and in every profession so policy intervention should be taken with greatest or utmost care such that everyone gets the fruit of policy mental rehabilitation center should be established which uh, acts as a solution to the problem of mental illness phantoms in the policy making should be also reduced because it acts as a will because we we are just uh, we are just uh, stuck in between the uh, myths or misinterpretations so that should not be the case in the case of policy making dynamic policy making should be encouraged and the needy should get most of the attention in the policy making rather than see the, no, the needy may belong to upper upper economic strata or the needy may belong to lower economic strata but the policy intervention should treat everyone equally because suicide is a problem of life or death so life or death or the trauma or trauma that brings death the tra death and the trauma it brings to the family is same irrespective of the what is the what economic strata they belong to so the needy should get most of the attention and last would be legislate in the view of issues that cause the life so suicide is being the main, main issue so laws should be legislated in a such a way that most of the uh, suicides may be reduced drastically so with that in mind thank you in the next lecture we'll start with the introduction of capitalism and the important facets of the capitalism thank you